So a new report just dropped some numbers that should make every executive out there who's betting their company's future on AI agents really sit up and pay attention. Carnegie Mellon, who's one of the best research uh, universities out there, put these systems through real workplace tasks. They took AI agents and put them through their tests, and the results are pretty brutal. OpenAI's flagship GPT-40, it failed 91% of the time as an AI agent. Amazon's Nova, a catastrophic 98% failure rate. And even Google, who performed the best, failed seven out of 10 times in basic office tasks. So while VCs pour $131 billion into AI this year alone, the little secret that's kind of a dirty secret now at this point that nobody wants to admit is that these systems can't even handle very basic intern level tasks. So are we witnessing the most expensive tech failure in history or is there something deeper going on? I'm gonna dive into this today because the hype machine is definitely rolling when it comes to AI agents. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer, and here at Startup Hack, we train software developers and build custom software solutions for companies. With an executive, uh, with ten, a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've managed transforming tech teams and products. All right, the numbers don't lie here, folks, and I'm going to go through these reports because I get it. Silicon Valley has been screaming about AI agents replacing all of us, but Carnegie Mellon doesn't just drink the Kool Aid, right? And they just pump published a very comprehensive study, yet uh, one of the most yet, on how these systems actually perform in in real workplace tasks. So the results are definitely a wake up call for everybody who's out there telling me that I don't understand and I just haven't really tried to do it because they're making a million dollars a year off of AI. If that's true, they're, they're great salesmen. But I'm sorry, I'm just not fully drinking the Kool-Aid. Now I get it that a lot of people, it's pretty easy to get confused right now because as we jump into this here, one of the biggest, so I, it's funny this morning, I have this script all written up and yet um, uh, in my medium feed this morning, there was two back-to-back -back articles and it was hilarious because they came into my medium feed and the first one is, is, is AI agent revolution a scam? And it says the hype train is derailing and that's pretty much like all you need to know. And they're, they're actually going off the exact same report that we're gonna talk about here from Carnegie Mellon. And so it's really funny that he's actually seeing the same thing, right? So shout out to this guy here. The very next one in my Medium feed is a business genius who took AI products to 20,000 a month revenue in just two months. So it's not like I totally understand why people aren't understanding and think that I don't understand, but it just kind of makes me laugh because then as you read down through this, really it's somebody who found a decent niche, you know, vibe coded something, then handed it over to developers who then took it and actually built the rest of the app and launched it and got it into production. Okay. Like that's the reality of what this is. And, and it's like, and this, and he had a big following so he could run it up really quick because he already had thousands of followers, et cetera. So that, that's the whole point here, folks, is like software development and launching apps haven't changed. There are people that find little niches and exploit them and run up to big, uh, to big dollars. This happens all the time. But the Carnegie Mellon research here is going to dive in and show us exactly what really is going on. So in this Carnegie Mellon research here, right, you can see this done by Carnegie Mellon, independent, and as also some for folks from Duke University, fully peer reviewed. Like this is legit here, guys, right? This was released in May. It's just kind of now hitting the wire. Uh, you know, a lot of times because it takes time for peer review, it's really started to kind of hit in the last couple of weeks. But they went through and they ran a series of tests that were very, very well. And this is this is one that is not going to get debunked, guys, like because these guys really did their work, right? You can see that it's a really long paper. So I'm not going to go through all of it here with you, um, but I'm going to break down and go through what the results are because the results here are huge, right? This is what we're going to go through through today. So Carnegie Mellon's researchers tested AI agents on 175 realistic workplace tasks. So they didn't just find one like the strawberry example and then beat it over the head with it. They actually took 175 realistic workplace tasks and the revolts were, results were absolutely devastating. So all this talk about it replacing white collar jobs it's not even close because OpenAI's ChatGPT 4.0, the latest model, and the one that everybody's been hyping as the future, managed to fail a staggering 91% of basic office tasks. Amazon's Nova Pro V1 achieved the most spectacular failure rate of 98%. I should expect that coming from Amazon. I just love how Jassy is telling everybody that, you know, oh, 50% of the workforce is going to get cut by 2027. That's such BS. He's just using it as a threat. Meta's Llama 3.1 crash and burn at 92%. Even Google's best performing Gemini 2.5 Pro, which by the way, did win. So 
uh, led the pack at only failing 70% of the tasks. So if you only want 30% success rate on the tasks, then great, roll out that AI agent and fire all your employees. These weren't trick qu questions or educations. We're talking about responding to colleagues, basic web browsing, and simple coding tasks. Now, Gartner, uh, let me jump to Gart uh, Gartner, sorry. Gartner predicts that over 40% of agent agentic AI projects will be canceled by the end of 2027. The analyst explored AI agents trends during Gartner's IT symposium. Um, so 40% of AI agent projects will be canceled by the end of 2027 due to escalating costs, unclear, unclear business value. Surprise. What this means here is it means that everybody's got a solution, AI, and they're running around trying to find a problem to solve it with <laughs> or inadequate risk control, right? Oh, surprise, you shouldn't hook it up to your database? Oh, shocker. So most agentic AI projects right now are early stage experiments of proof of concept that are mostly driven by hype or often misplaced. Guys, this is Gartner. This is Carnegie Mellon. I'm not making this stuff up. So I already this morning, I think I answered a dozen comments of people accusing me that they're like, you just don't understand. Everybody's gonna like, you're just gonna get left behind. This is where you are. I just, I, I laugh at this because I'm like, uh, like I'm not making these studies up, right? So, um, so Gartner estimates that out of the thousands of companies offering AI agents, only about 130 are actually real. The rest are complete marketing fluff. Companies are frantically rebranding existing automation chatbots and RPA tools as AI agents to ride the current hype wave. Apple is facing a class action lawsuit over their intelligence feature that promises AI capabilities but delivers disappointment instead. Investment firm Delphia got slapped with a $225,000 SEC fine for completely faking AI fiscal anal uh, financial analysis that was just marketing smoke and mirrors. And this is coming from Gartner, guys. Like, I'm not making this stuff up. This mirrors the dot com madness of 1999 when every company slapped dot com on their name without changing their actual business. The pattern is identical to what I've witnessed through the blockchain craze, through cloud uh, first, like everything. Lots of buzzwords, minimal substance, maximum investor confusion. Now, Sequoia Capital's latest analysis release reveals that AI infrastructure investments have created a massive $600 billion gap between spending and actual revenue. I want you to think about that for a minute. $600 billion have been pumped into these companies with no promise of ROI. There's so much FOMO around this right now, it's staggering. Companies are stockpiling GPUs and building data centers ba based on revenue projections that don't exist in real world yet. OpenAI dominates with $3.4 billion in revenue. Okay, they've had $3.4 billion in revenue of other companies fight over scraps of the sub $100 million range. So OpenAI, who has, who has accumulated, I can't remember off the top of my head, 360 some billion dollars of investments, are now at $3.4 billion in revenue. Now, great, $3.4 billion in revenue, but that's like, they're like one, one one hundredth of a revenue level. Unlike previous tech build outs like railroads, GPU computing lacks mo monopolistic practice power and quickly becomes commodity price computing. What that means is there's nobody who really owns this IP right now. They're all stealing from each other, so much so that we see Meta stealing all these humans, right? So when those GPU stockpiles get large enough and demand inevitably drops, we're looking at massive capital destruction coming across the industry, i.e. bubble burst, right? Everybody's like, oh, you just don't understand. There's exponential growth. Remember when AI was supposed to eliminate human oversight entirely? Well, companies are quietly bringing humans back into every critical process. The cost of AI mistakes consistently exceeds the cost of human review, and I'm doing a whole research on this right now that I'm going to be making in the next couple of days. Cost of AI mistakes consistently exceeds the cost of human review, forcing businesses to add verification steps they hoped to eliminate. Successful AI implementations are shifting from full automation to practical augmentation that enhances rather than replaces human judgment. What we've been saying here for for a year, year, guys. The expensive lesson companies are learning. Attempting com, uh, complete automation without human oversight is going to lead to a catastrophic and costly failure. I've learned in my years in technology that what works best is when you respect the technology rather than try to replace it. The person who takes right now and says, I'm going to replace all my developers with AI is going to get is going to meet with failure and they're going to end up hiring back people to clean up the mess. 
So the set it and forget it AI fantasy is dying and reality sets in about reliability, accountability, and the true cost of errors. I recently was talking with uh, two of my friends who are CISOs, you know, chief security officers, and they said they are desperately trying to roll out AI policies to remove AI from their corporate environments. They know the risks. I'm not suggesting that we ignore AI or that we don't use it. I'm saying we've got to be real about it. So these articles saying, hey, jump on here, vibe code this, roll this app out and make a million dollars a month are just ridiculous. Now, if your company has systems that aren't connected, reach out to us because here at Startup Pack, our specialty is connecting your systems to help your company work to maximum efficiency. We also do build AI agents responsibly where it makes sense for data matching, for data pattern and those type of things. So check out startuppack.com slash Spencer because we'd love to help you out. Now, there's a hallucination time bomb coming here, right? AI hallucinations remain a massive unsolved problems where systems confidently generate completely false information that looks perfectly legitimate. Legal AI tools have been caught in uh, inventing fictitious court cases and citing them as precedent in real legal documents. These aren't minor typos. AI systems create entirely fabricated facts, figures, and references that can destroy a business credibility. The critical business process like contracts, financial reports, and compliance documents hallucination creates reli liability exposure most companies haven't even considered. Companies are discovering that systems working 99% reliab reliably beats that one that works perfectly but fails unpredictably. So the liability lawsuit from AI hallucinations are just beginning and most businesses are completely unprepared for the legal consequences. Now businesses are building critical operation functions on AI APIs they don't control. When OpenAI experienced downtime last month, thousands of companies lost core functionality overnight with zero backup plans in place. Basically, the other part of this that tells you that it's a bubble is because a ton of people have wrapped their entire business around a third party, most of them using OpenAI. Startups are building entire value propositions on third party AI models, only to get crushed when pricing changes or when access gets restricted or when OpenAI says, oh, that's an interesting business. I think we'll just implement that. And suddenly that business is gone. It's happening all over the place. Sending sensitive customer data to external AI providers creates massive security vulnerabilities that most companies haven't properly assessed. So I see companies wrapping uh, a service with uh, to send an API or data out to an OpenAI API, and they're just pumping customer data out. That's a total violation of HIPAA, um, PCI, everything, all data like rules that totally breaks it. So my decades in tech has taught me that outsourcing your competitive advantage is the fastest way possible to be completely, to become completely obsolete. Now, everyone wants to build AI solutions, but almost nobody can find quality people to implement them properly without a huge mistake. Companies are promoting regular developers to AI engineers after a brief weekend course and then wondering why their project on AI fails spectacularly. The quality gap between elite AI practitioners and average implementation teams is wider than most executives realize or want to admit. They've just gone out and bought this really expensive AI tool that they've been promised and sold would revolutionize their business. They go to implement it, employees are being forced to use it and it's failing miserably and the executives are blaming the employees saying, why isn't the business working better? Companies are facing hard truths that their AI ambitions far, out see, far exceed their current execution capabilities and availability talent. Um, without proper expertise, even the most advanced AI models become expensive paperweights that drain budgets without delivering promised value. So regulators worldwide are catching up to AI development and most companies are completely unprepared for what's coming. The EU AI Act, China's comprehensive regulations and the emerging US frameworks are gonna drastically change what, what's legal, po legally possible in different markets. Many startups are building on foundations that will be completely un undermined by upcoming AI regulations in healthcare, finance, and a lot of other sectors. Let me restate this. There's a ton of regulations that are being totally ignored and throwing out the window with the brand of AI stamped on top of it. It's not gonna last. Like smart companies are building with future regulations in mind while others risk having their entire business model legislated out of existence. It's gonna happen, folks. Like my experience implementing GDPR, as well as a lot of other major regulations and working with companies to implement security practices and uh, security like HIPAA and SOC compliance has told me that there are so many different things that can absolutely destroy a business when they come to start doing this and if they ignore this. So the companies ignoring regulatory preparation day will face ex existential threats when enforcement begins 
early next year. You're going to see a lot of this and it's coming. The ROI reckoning is also coming. As I talked about a little bit before, there's so much money being pumped into AI startups right now. But as Gardner predicted, over 40% of AI agent projects will be canceled by 2027. We're watching this going on with Cursor right now. They raised their prices because, shocker, they want to make money. And suddenly the backlash was so hard. I don't have all the numbers in front of me because I'm still doing my research and still following the story to see what's happened. But the backlash has been so hard. It's go this is going to start happening. The ROI reckoning is coming. These investors are going to stop at some point and go, okay, wait a minute. We've pumped... Like I know right now for uh, Anthropic, they've had like six to ten billion dollars. I don't remember the exact numbers off the top of my head, but they just got really excited because they posted a billion dollars in revenue. At some point, their investors are going to be like, one tenth of the return is not going to really work for us, right? Businesses are going to start abandoning this because they're going to have to start explaining. And AI is super expensive. Now the promises that everybody keeps saying, well, it's going to get better. It'll get cheaper to run. That's not been proven the case. Over the last three years, um, there's a report showing that it's actually gotten more expensive. A report just came out showing that uh, Google's Gemini 2.5 is actually vastly more expensive than any of its predecessors to run. So while in this case, you know, the numbers that I'm showing you here are is that it was the best, it's at a price and they can't throw that money at it forever. Some of the Mag 7 can, but the rest of the people out there are not going to be able to. So all the classic bubble bursting warning signs are flashing in massive red, massive speculative investments, minimal real returns, widespread reality, uh, reality denial. The AI industry has attracted more speculative capital than Web3 ever did, making the potential crash much more severe and widespread. Unlike previous tech bubbles, experts warn the U.S. economy is now fundamentally tied to AI hype success or its catastrophic failure. Investment patterns show classic late-stage bubble behavior with companies raising $10 billion rounds based entirely on future promises rather than current performance. The disconnect between AI capabilities and public expectation has reached completely unsustainable levels that always correct violent land markets. Smart money is quietly diversifying portfolios while, reta while retail investors and corporations continue pouring resources into unproven AI ventures. Now, if your company has systems that aren't connected, reach out because here at Startup Pack, we still build normal software to help you get your systems connected so you can work to maximum efficiency. So check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'd love to have a great discussion. As I mentioned earlier, I'm commenting to all of these. So reach out because uh, I'd love to comment. Here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developers as well as to build custom software solutions for companies. And here's some great information about our services. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As your fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcounts. My team at Startup Pack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduced processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect. Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology, leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com Spencer.